saddle up for writer-director Robert Conway's 2019 delivered Old West outing Eminence Hill and you get quite a genre mix but at its dark heart is an American Western with a vengeful theme and more than the odd referencing ode to some classic cowboy brilliance from yesteryear. Opening with welcome nods to both Once Upon a Time in the West and The Searchers, the perfectly cast Clint James in the bad guy Henry Fonda role from Once Upon a Time in the West rides up to a small homestead with his gang. He is Royce Tullis, a killer with a $2,000 bounty on his head, and he is taking vengeance upon those who sat upon the jury that pronounced a guilty verdict upon his brother, sentencing him to death. They have arrived at the property of the last living jury member, James Mitchum, one of many name-dropping characters derived from famously known cowboy film-related folk. Mitchum lives with his wife and teenage daughter, living peacefully off the land. Royce Tullis cares not, though, and takes his violent and bloody vengeance, coldly killing both Mitchum and his loving wife, and then dragging the daughter away with them as they ride off into the open range of the western frontier. In pursuit of their blood trail is a US Marshal who is not quite all that he appears, and a tracker named Carson Garrett, who too himself has a shady past, but is freed from prison by Quincy, the US Marshal, with promise of a full pardon for his crimes upon helping him track down Royce and bring him to justice. What brings them all together, a nion all together tears them asunder, lies in wait at Eminence Hill. When the teen girl Ruth escapes the gang, Royce and his cohorts chase her down to the mysterious town of Eminence Hill, where they are greeted at first by the Old Testament God-loving townspeople, only to then be taken captive as ordered by the leader named Noah. They're caged and tortured to get the truth out of them as to why they are there and as to their intentions by Noah and his stern-faced and strong of build flock in his Ark of Covenants. It all gets a bit bloody and violent and almost indistinguishable as to who is bad or baddest here, as there really are no heroes to cheer for, just varying degrees of the damned, dishonest and downright unredeemable. This really is a case of the ungodly, bad and ugly of the West. Even when the poster star of the piece, Lance Henriksen, eventually appears at around 56 minutes, to garner some semblance of counter-kick-ass goodness to proceedings, he is gone in just a few minutes of screen time. Great to see him, but what a waste of star talent and a totally unforgivable piece of false promotion from the filmmakers. Time for Marshal Quincy and sidekick Carson to ride into the Hangham High-like ghostly town that Clint Eastwood once fought to survive, here named Eminence Hill. An attempt to rescue the girl Ruth and end Royce, just as Noah and his flood of followers go all biblical on their souls themselves. Having already drawn and quartered with horse-powered bloody dismemberment two of the Royce gang, and now at Noah's hand, calling the sinners to account by God's own law. For a modern day made western, this one does not shy away from the violence and barbaric bloodletting ways of the old school likes of Cutthroat's Nine, The Wild Bunch and Django, and garners itself a 4 out of 10 view of interest. 
but it is the oddly flat film style and detached acting of most on screen that gives the piece a rather stilted feel and unnaturally awkwardness to proceedings. Not to mention the obvious and off-putting post-production CGI blood splatter from gunshots. Incredulously so as well, as there are some very well done and convincingly well applied practical laden effects that do work extremely well. The movie looks good with scenery and cinematography, along with the artisan created buildings and environment choices. Eminence Hill is well worth a watch though, and the low budget cannot be overlooked for some of the film's flaws. Western cowboy film fans could well find this a solid step in the future success spurs for the genre to get a resurgence and hopefully so. Let loose US Marshal Quincy as the revealed Armageddon in the flesh end showdown with the gunfight at the Oh Hell Corral come closure and the satisfaction of some bloody dispensation may satisfy overruling the OK review score given here for many of you to watch out there. Eminence Hill is a considered climb on board to then undertake. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.